When you're color grading, you often need to get one clip looking similar to another clip. And to do that, you need to be able to see both clips side by side. So you've got a visual reference where you can make decisions on color grading. Let me show you how to do that. Say we've got this clip here and we want to color grade it so it looks similar to this clip. So it matches up with the colors and the tones and the brightness. The first thing we can do is click on the clip that we want to color grade, this clip of the bush. You can either click on these three dots in the viewer and choose split screen and turn it on. Or you can just simply click this button here. When you turn on split screen mode, you need to tell DaVinci Resolve where you want the other clip to come from, the clip that we want to compare to. There's loads of different options here. For example, you could choose neighbor clips. That's going to show you clips all around the currently selected clip. So if I select this one, we can see all of the clips around this one or all of the clips around this one. You can also choose current group. That will show you all of the clips that are signed to the current group that match the clip that you're selected. So all of these shots are in the current group that this selected clip is in. And if I select a different clip, this clip doesn't belong to any groups, so you only see that clip. Or you can use selected clips, hold down control and select the clip you want to compare to. In this case, we're going to compare it to here. So I'm holding down control, clicking here. Now we get the clip that we're color grading. And if we make changes, we're definitely affecting that clip, but we can compare it to this clip. I'm gonna use the mouse wheel to zoom in and we can also click on the clips button to give us a bit more space. And if we wanted to close the nodes. Now we've got a side by side, we can start color grading. We could use multiple nodes, but to keep things simple, I'm just gonna do everything in one node. You can see that we need to brighten up this clip. We can change the scope to the waveform. And the interesting thing about split screen mode is it actually splits up the waveform. If I just max this out, you can see only half of this waveform scope is moving, the half that we're changing on the screen. The other half is the reference image, which is really nice. So we can change the exposure. If I just reset this, you can actually see on this half of the scope that it's definitely underexposed compared to this other clip. So we can bring up that exposure. Let's add a node. Maybe we want to try and work work with the lift. Maybe we want to work with the color a little bit. Of course, you can switch the scopes. You can see the vector scope. And if you switch to the parade, the parade also is split between the two images. So the red, green, and blue channels are for this image that we're changing and also for the reference image. This is a super powerful technique if you ever need to get multiple shots to look similar. But sometimes you might want to compare different stylistic choices, different color grades for the same clip without having to undo and redo things all over again. And that's exactly what you'll learn how to do in this next video if you want to learn about versions. I'm Jason Roberts. This is DaVinci Dojo and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.